Hi, this is uh, Engineer Rafi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now uh, we will discuss. Uh, we have some examples for uh, a parabola, problems related to parabola. Okay, we already discussed before the definitions of parabola and uh, its equations, general equations, standard equations. Okay, please check out our vi previous videos. Also, the elements of uh, here, elements of parabola, how to find the vertex. Okay, we already discussed this. Now, let's combine all this uh, concept, okay, to a real problem in the board exam. I have here two problems, okay, and it's taken from page 826, 829 of the book of Besabilia. Okay, let's try to solve number one. A parabola has an equation of x squared equals 20y. Okay? Compute the latus rectum of the parabola. Okay, the answer is 20. Did I locate the coordinate of the focus of the parabola? We have here the coordinates 0 and 5. And then determine the equation of the directrix of the parabola. Okay? So by checking on the equation of the parabola. The parabola opens, uh, this, the vertex of the parabola is at 0, 0. Okay. And it is opens, opens upward. Okay. Let's check our equation. Okay. X squared is equal to 4ay. X squared is equal to 20y. Okay. So this opens upward okay and the vertex is at zero zero so our parabola therefore is like this it's very important for you to know the look the what is your parabola look alike okay look like okay before you solve the problem so what is the latus rectum okay the latus rectum is this one so from the equation of the parabola in vertex form x squared is equal to 4ay and we said before that this is the latus rectum okay so from our equation 4a therefore is equal to 20 okay 4a is equal to 20 so a that is equal to 20 divided by 4 that is 5 okay so the latus rectum is 4a, so we have 20. Therefore, this is 5. Mm, no. This is 5 and this is 10. Uh, correct. This is 10 and this is 10. Okay, from the vertex, 0, 0. Okay, locate the coordinates of the focus of the parabola. Okay, the focus of parabola is this. Okay, this is our focus now. It has 0 at 5. Okay. Because here, where is our... I'll just show you the previous discussion for you to be to relate. The distance from the focus to the vertex, that is A, and the distance from the focus to that line, uh, to that point, is 2A. Okay, this automatic to be 2a and the latus rectum to be 4a so therefore here if this is 5 this is 10 twice to 5 and this is 10 to make it 20 okay so the coordinate of the focus of the parabola is 0 and 5 determine the equation of the directrix of the parabola okay directrix is somewhere here parallel to the x-axis the equation the distance from the directrix to the vertex therefore is also 5 so it will become negative so this line, this is y equals negative 5, right? So the equation now is y plus 5 equals 0. This is the equation of the directrix. As simple as that. Okay? Next. The parabola has an equation of y squared plus 4y minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. Locate the vertex of the parabola. Okay, the answer is given. Negative 3 and negative 2. 
Locate the focus of the parabola. We have f negative 2 and negative 2 and find the distance from the focus to the directrix is 2. Okay. So our equation is opens to the right. Okay, since this is y squared. It is opens to the right and the vertex is at hk. I repeat, it's very important for you to know the, the figure of your parabola before solving the problem. Okay, since the equation is in the form of uh, a general equation, okay, cy squared plus uh, dx plus uh, ey plus f equals 0, okay, we can solve the vertex of this through a formula, okay. Our formula is we have h e squared minus 4cf okay, over 4cd and the k is negative e over 2c. Our equation is we have y squared plus 4y minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. Okay, but I'm not memorizing this one because once I I find the value of y, I will substitute here. I can find the value of x. That will be my vertex. Okay, so using this, we have e in terms of y. In terms of y, we have negative 4 over 2 times the value of c1. So your k or the value of y is negative 4 over 2. That is negative 2. Okay, so I have negative 2, I will substitute it to the value of y here. Okay, y. So, using this one, I have negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 4x minus 8 equals 0. So now I can solve for the value of x. Okay. So negative 2 times squared, that is 4, minus 8, minus 8, I will transpose this to the other side, become positive, 4x. So 4 minus 8, uh, minus 8, 4 minus 8, minus 8, negative 12, that is equal to 4x, divided so both sides by 4, your x is negative 3. So your vertex is negative 3 and negative 2 okay negative 3 and negative 2 is it correct negative 3 and negative 2 okay next locate the focus of the parabola so since we have the vertex now negative 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 negative 3 and negative 2 here and the our parabola opens to the right okay it opens to the right like this this is negative 3 and negative 2 so the, the axis of symmetry is the one parallel with the x-axis and the focus is located somewhere here and the directrix is located somewhere here parallel to the y-axis okay directrix so the coordinate of the focus Okay, this is negative, negative 3 and negative 2. So sure that uh, the value of the, uh, what do you call this one? The value of y, okay, the value of y is also negative 2. Okay, so let's check for the value of a, so that we will know the distance of the focus to the vertex. Your a can be computed by a formula uh, given before that is negative d over 4c is very important also formula your negative d in terms of x right so in terms of x we have negative 4 negative of negative 4 divided by 4 times 1 a would be equal to positive 4 over 4 that is 1 so a is equal to 1 
So if this is equal to 1 and this is at negative 3, this is at negative 2, right? This is negative 2 and along negative 2. So the focus is negative 2 and negative 2. Okay, and the equation of find the distance from the focus to the directrix, from the focus to the directrix, this is also the same as A equals 1, so the focus to the directrix is equal to 2. So that's equal to 2. Okay, so that's all for the elements of uh, parabola. Okay, next we will discuss about the... Uh, squared property of parabola that would be the last topic related to this thank you